Hey guys, so I thought I'd go for a little walk since I'm literally doing nothing these days and it is raining, which kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Apparently it is going to rain today and tomorrow, but I'm just going to my hotel, hometowns, kind of nearby shopping centre. I want to look at some magazines and maybe some makeup or something. I don't know, I just haven't been to this shopping centre since I arrived basically. It's like the only place I used to go when I was little. So I don't go so much anymore because it's boring. This is basically my hometown. It's kind of not in the country, not in the city. In between. Oh Jesus, I hope it doesn't storm and stuff. It looks pretty cloudy. I was born here, although I've been living in Australia since I was three. So I don't really remember anything from when I lived here. And when I lived here, I did not live in this area, I lived close by, but not in this area. The only memories I really have of Japan when I was little is this area where my grandparents live. So it's kind of like my hometown, even though I didn't necessarily grow up here. When I was little, I used to just hang around here all the time. Now that I'm older, it's kind of boring. There's nothing much to do. Now I just, I am usually go out to Tokyo and stuff when I want to shop and because my friend lives there, I can just stay there, which is good. And uh, very, very lucky that I don't have to pay for accommodation. shopping centre. Apologies if my hair is all over the place. Humidity is my worst enemy. I think I'm going to go up to the third floor because I'm pretty sure that's where the bookshop is and that's where I want to go. This is kind of like the restauranty area. This is a 100 yen shop which I'm pretty sure most people know is Daiso which they have in Melbourne now. Yay, this is exactly the area I wanted to come to. Bookshop and there's a cosmetic store further up. And do you know what's massive in Japan still? Freaking frozen. It's so big, it's so, it's just everywhere. So Japan carries a crap load of magazines. All of this section is just like women's fashion. Which is awesome, but it's sometimes hard to choose what you want. Really? Oh my god, this used to be like my favorite store. They have like everything a girl wants. A little girl wants, I guess. But they have cosmetics and stuff, so might check that out. See, furniture is just crazy. It's just everywhere. Oh, everything's just so adorable in Japan. They got pins, all these characters, color contacts. Mm. I'm going into the wrong store now. I'm not sure what's on this level. I think I'm pretty much done. I don't think there's really any other shops that I want to go to. Merry Christmas tree! There's, I think it's a school on the other side there. So I just finished shopping. Um, I didn't actually, I was gonna say I didn't buy much, but I bought a fair amount. All I bought was really cosmetics and a magazine and some food. Not really food, I just got like jelly and stuff. It's only like, not even 4.30 yet, but it's pretty dark. Like by five, it definitely gets dark here. I want to show you, some, show you guys something really cool now. Back in Australia, I just don't drink soy milk like I would like to, but I just can't get over the taste. We usually have it in the house. Sorry, I'm walking up here also. We usually have it in the house but, and when we run out of regular milk, I do use it, but I still just can't get over the taste. But over here, they have this brand of soy milk that has so many flavors, like 20 flavors or something. 
and they're like 70 cents each so it's super super cheap shouldn't have done it shouldn't have done it right now i'm like out of breath it's not even a big heel but anyway these soy milks are like 70 cents um the place i went to today only had like five flavors but last time i went to a massive supermarket they had like 20 and i tried the matcha one this time i'm gonna try the coffee one and see how that goes Good again. So I'm back home now. I thought I'd do a quick show of what I ended up buying. So first, as I said, I wanted to go to the bookshop. I wanted a fashion magazine because I haven't got one in ages. I don't really know what's trending in Japan at the moment. So I got jelly, which used to be my favorite. I was actually going to buy some nail polish because I needed some like opaque colors. And it came with the magazine, a four set. So that's awesome. I won't have to buy nail polishes for a while, hopefully. Um, so I'll probably paint my nails tomorrow. Then I got an eyeshadow compact from, where is it? Shiseido Integrate. Um, I wanted kind of like a pink tone brownie color. So I got that. And then I got this one, Cosme de Corte, which I have not used before. It is actually an eyeshadow, but it was a really nice color. And I was actually looking for a highlighter because I didn't bring one with me. It looks like this, which is really, oops, wrong way. It's really cute and sleek. And it's really kind of, it's got a bit of a purpley shimmer to it. But it's a really nice light one. So it is an eyeshadow, but I mainly bought it as a highlight. But I will probably use it as a eyeshadow anyway because I don't have a really shimmery one at the moment. That's that. Then the lady gave me like a free sample of this really popular lip colour at the moment apparently from Esprit. Then I got this loose powder or translucent powder because I do not have one at the moment. I bought the lighter shade. I'm, I'm actually really pale here which I did not realise. This is light pinky shade. I think it's called light beige. But that was pretty cheap so I got that and then I bought a body mist because I brought my perfume but it's quite expensive so I don't want to use it every day so I just bought like a little body mist and I bought a just a regular black kind of gel pencil liner because I actually didn't bring one with me from Atchuse I can't say it then a tangle teaser which I really really needed I was planning to buy it in Australia anyway but I researched and it was slightly cheaper and I didn't think they sold it like anywhere nearby but I found it so I got one just the original one then I didn't obviously need this but I thought I'll take it back with me and it was kind of like limited edition right now how it has it's a bigger bottle so it's 25% extra product and it was super cheap it was only like three or three and a half dollars three or four dollars so I bought one because this is a really good face cleanser anyway since I've mentioned that before and then I got some face masks it's like a seven seven use ones which I thought was a good amount and it was pretty cheap then I got just some regular tights in different thicknesses and this nice kind of it looks really red but it's more like a wine color socks for winter but yeah that's kind of what I bought today just chilling out close by I'm just gonna have dinner with my grandparents I think we're having tonkatsu which is pretty delicious so I'll see you in the next video